Well, welcome back to the Don't Look Back Network. Um, we took a little break from 616 after the first nine games. Um, recorded a few others, and now I'm, we're back on him for a few more. Uh, this is similar to the first Midnight Tales. This is uh, multiple games uh, framed as a single narrative. This one also has a bonus game, not part of the uh, the frame narrative, which I'll play after the uh, conclusion of the story. So let's go ahead and start the story mode up and see what happens. Welcome to the story mode. Josh receives an unusual visitor at his home, a mysterious man dressed in black wearing a mask. What will be the purpose of this mysterious being? Probably to murder Josh. <laughs> Unless it turns out to be a big giant fake out like it was in the first game where it all just turned out to be a movie that was being shot. But... Let's see. Okay. What do we got here? Phone doesn't work. Uh, better save water. Is there a water shortage in this universe? Josh doesn't want the shit right now. Okay. buy these paintings. I mean, it's a cool picture. Oh, lights just went out. There's nothing to eat. Man, no food, no water. No wonder you can't shit. Yeah, that's a pretty nice landscape portrait there. I don't have any cool games. Poor bastard. No food, no water, and all these games suck, and now the lights are out. Okay. Whoa. Everything just turned into meat. The white switch has no sw wait. No, there is a switch there. It's just really. Oh shit! Strange man has appeared in my meat house. He's wearing a plague doctor mask for some reason. Hi, oh, Josh. I'm sorry for turning off your lights. I don't really like bright places. I would imagine not. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Who are you? Keep calm, Josh. I won't hurt you. I'm just here to amuse you. It's a really weird thing to say after you turned my house into meatloaf and showed up in a plague mask, man. Yeah, it's kind of weird that you show up in my house at night dressed like this. It's very strange. I don't play because I played all the good games and there are no good games. No new games. I need you to play, Josh. I brought you a special game. Take it, and don't be afraid. Huh. Okay, I'll play. I want to see if this game is any good. Yes, just ignore all the weird shit that just happened, and just play this game that this guy gave you. What is this? Stay at the house. Okay. Let's go pop it in the Goni station here. <laughs> oh, shit. Everything just went to normal.
Oh shit. Rats eating a dead parts of a dead person. Another dead person. She had a mask on. Got a fucking cough mask. Uh. Alright. What we got here? Three colored pill bottles. This is shit. Watch out for the symptoms. Red eyes, gangrene, high fever. Some kind of quarantine outbreak shit going on here. He's got a mask on too. Yeah, we're definitely in a quarantine here. Good place to hide. Guess we're gonna have to hide from something later. I remember where that spot's at. Oh, got a fucking radiation symbol on this door. What the hell is that? I still can't be examined. The hell does that mean? Military quarantine. Hello, citizen. Due to the situation we are living, home quarantine is decreed. I would like to remind you of your obligations. The sound of the alarm, you will have to take your pills, and after that, enter the exam cabin to check if it is clean. In case there is any contamination, I ask you to wait for the cleaning team, aka hit squad, probably, to arrive and don't resist. We are working to build a new world. So they're gonna come and shoot anybody that pops up contaminated, probably. Those three pill bottles in his bedroom must be the pills we're supposed to take. My old companion. I don't want to play now. He he has a gunny station as well. <laughs> Something supposed to be happening here? Shit, I need to take the pills and get in the exam booth. Right. Which way was the bedroom? There we go. We're, we're not a zombie just yet. That's good. Uh oh. Somebody's here. Josh, I can't take this quarantine anymore. I found a way out of this prison they call home. You could escape, help me escape here from here. <laughs> you're crazy. It's forbidden to leave your quarantine. If they find out you're here, yeah, no shit, dude. You better get back in your house before you get popped. They, they won't find out. Our neighbor, Mark, was killed by the cleaning crew and was not infected. I heard everything from my apartment. You need to go back to your apartment now. You'll end up getting in, me in trouble. Eh, never mind. I knew that was coming. <sighs> Sorry for what happened, sir. Your neighbor was contaminated and trying to escape. Oh my god, you shot him in the head! He looks healthy to me! 
Queen crew risk their lives out here to protect people from contamination. We have orders to kill. Our policy is zero tolerance. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, you better say that. I just don't want problems with myself. Follow the rules, and I guarantee you will have no problems, sir. Have a good day. Yeah, I'll have a great day after you just fucking domed my neighbor right in front of me. I'm not even going to drag him off. I'm just going to leave him there to rot in front of my front door. Ugh. Now we gotta wait 15 minutes for the next event to trigger because this is one one of those things. Wait, no, there's a note here. Hi, right, Mike. I'm your next door neighbor. I saw what they did to Josh. My God, they're going crazy. Things are getting out of hand. That machine that examines us is already five years old and is starting to fail. Uh oh. Josh was not infected. So it's going to give me a false positive at some point, and they're going to come in here and shoot me in the face, probably, even though I'm not actually infected. Well, now he's in a now he's in a body bag. Anyway, so I've noticed a pattern with this particular developer's games is that sometimes the pacing is really off. Like it takes way too long for the next the next event to trigger. Sometimes I suppose it fits unintentionally in this one because it's, you know supposed to be a you know an isolated quarantine feeling, but it happens in almost every game this guy makes. Um, way too long pauses uh, between event triggers. Okay, now what? I'm just waiting for the alarm to go off again, probably. I'm so bored. It's horrible being in quarantine. I'm going to play video games. Alright. You don't have to sit that far away from the TV. I can't even see that. That looks like the first Silent Hill. That is definitely the first Silent Hill game he's playing there. Yeah, that's Silent Hill 1. Love the records. Oh. oh, yeah. If I wasn't sure before, I am now. Uh-oh. Oh, that wasn't the that wasn't that wasn't the quarantine siren. That's the Silent Hill siren. Or maybe it wasn't. Exam again. You need to take the pills and get in the boot. All right, let's go. Tiffany? They just shoot another neighbor? Mm -mm. Oh my god, Tiffany! 
I'm sure you weren't infected. You were right about my machine malfunction. Well, they just went in her ass and shot her ass. Crap, there's no escape. If my exam machine fails, I'm lost. Yeah, that's what the guy that left that first note was worried about. Why does this guy have this poster hanging up in his house? Like, hey, next to his bed, or no less. Unless that's something government issue that everybody's required to keep in their home. It's the same. That's the same note. All right. That was also literally the cover art for the first Silent Hill game and the first Resident Evil there. <laughs> Violent Hill. Evil Dent. <laughs> Cute. I like it. Oh. Exam again? They're, better, they're going crazy. I better take the pills and go into the cabin. Oh shit. No, 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 shit, I'm not infected. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I get out of here. I think they left. I need to try to get away from here. Why would they leave? They obviously know you're in there. There's no way for you to have gotten out. There we go. Yeah. Well, they didn't just shoot him. Appear to be taking him somewhere. Hmm. 
was this guy whistling all happy while he dragged me away? Don't be afraid, Mike. You are immune to the virus. And with your help, we can find a cure. What? What's going on here? You're killing people. There's something very wrong going on. You think so? <laughs> the only way to find a cure is to find people who are immune to the virus. We infect some people to find it. We just want to save the world. Infect people. You guys really are going crazy. They can't do this. They can't kill innocent people. How do you infect people? He just told me, you mean how, dumbass? He just told you it was the pills. See? What do you think is in the pills you take, Mike? Pills are made from body parts infected with the virus. Wow. <laughs> Don't eat the soil and green, Mike. It's people. I want you to understand that we do this for the greater good. To find immune people like you. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You let me out of here. I swear I'll kill you. Well, that's not going to make him let you go, is it? Sorry, Mike. That won't be possible. We need you. Try to relax a little, and soon we will start the draining process. Uh, that's not drain. Guys, you're gonna lose a lot. Well, I mean, if they were after his blood to use it as a cure. Chopping him into sausage with a chainsaw isn't going to be the best way. I mean, that would drain him, for sure, but... I feel like you're going to lose a lot of it on the floor and the walls if you do it that way. Well, thanks, Mr. Plague Doctor Mask Man. That was pretty fucked up. I scare you, my friend? I'm sorry about that. Did you like the game? Alright, the game is really good. I haven't played something like this in a while. Glad you liked it. The next one is really good, too, but I need you to do something for me first. I really want to play the next game. What do I need to do? It's simple. Someone is going to knock on your door. I need you to kill her and deliver her body to the creature that will be in your room. You'll kill a person, you're crazy. I cannot take the life of an innocent person. Don't worry, she is not a good person. <laughs> the Goni station needs to be fed to keep bringing you these amazing games. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this for the Goni station. I want more horror games. Excellent, Josh, get ready. She'll be here soon. Alright. What in the hell is that? Uh, got an axe here. You said soon. Maybe she figured out what they were going to do and decided not to show up. Oh, no, there she is. Okay. What the fuck? She looks high as shit. <laughs> Won't you say anything, girl? Okay, then. Let's go. Yeah, you think if somebody answered, if you knock on somebody's door and they answer the door with an axe already cocked, the last thing you would do is just go ahead and saunter into their house and get on your knees. Like, <laughs> maybe she's just hoping for the best. I don't even like. 
Maybe if I suck his dick really well, he won't chop my head off and feed me to that monster in there. Unless she showed up here knowing that she was going to be a sacrifice for, you know, the greater cause of feeding the Goni station. She's not going to say anything, I guess. Alright, you know, here we go. <laughs> okay. This is bizarre, but I'm dying to play the next game. Congratulations, Josh. You accomplished your task. Here's the next game. Enjoy! This one is called Just One Night. Alright. I'm very tired. I'm going to stop this motel for the night. Alright. You do that. Well, we're at Thom's motel and there's Thom with his 70s porn mustache. <laughs> okay. Night, beautiful young lady. How can I help you? Good evening, sir. I just need a place to spend the night. I'm too tired to drive. Sorry, I forgot to do the chick voice there. What's a pretty young lady like you doing around here so late at night? I'm going to visit my mother. Can you please give me the room key? Of course, here it is. Stay in room 3. It's very clean. If you have to tell me that the rooms are clean, they're probably not at all. Thank you, very good. Have a good night. I totally, wow, I forgot how to read for a second there. Alright. Enough with the sappy country music there. Which one of these is room three? Not that one. There's no numbers. How are we supposed to know? Oh, I guess it was that one. Okay. Oh, fuck. Somebody at the door? Hey, it's a serial killer. Bye! Bald gloves. Looks like one of the dudes from the hills have eyes. That no. That is some total cannibal hillbilly mutant shit there. Good night, pretty lady. I noticed that you arrived alone. You want some company tonight, man? Just right, right. Just launch right into it, man. Show up at a random woman's door. Be like, you will float. Not that, not with that face, man. No, I don't. I don't need company. I don't even know you. 
Sorry, I'm James. <laughs> I'm staying in room two next to yours. What is your name, my princess? Oh, God. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Get out of here. Leave me alone or I'll call the police. <laughs> all right, you bitch. City girls are all idiots. Why, they're idiots because they don't want to fuck your ugly ass? Hunchback, square shoulders, no neck. Probably can't even turn his own head to wipe his ass. Get, get, get in there. Creepy bastard. Dying of thirst. I'm going to buy something to drink. You might want to wait for that creepy fucker to get back in his room first. I don't know which room he came from. Probably that one. Well. Fine, let's fall asleep in his chair. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think he's asleep. He's a low res. I can't tell if his eyes are open or not. Very tired. I need to get some sleep. All right. God, I, what is happening? I need to see if anyone needs help. No, you don't. You need to turn the lights off and get in your closet. Well, you don't have a closet, but... I'm not out here. Maybe James got killed. That'd be a shame, and I... Okay, small spoiler here. Um... This section, I actually tried to record this earlier, and this sequence contains a bug that is 100% game breaking. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to walk into the office. The hotel proprietor is going to be chopped into meatloaf, and the guy that killed him is still there. So we either run away from him. What you're supposed to do is run away from him, hide in your room under your bed, uh, and then come out when he leaves. The alternative is being killed, and the game will let you proceed to the next title in the story if you die, like the, uh, the pizza delivery game that the first one of these collections did. But if you hide under the bed, you'll never be able to get out of it, because the game will never let you exit underneath the bed. You'll get stuck. Um, the game page for Itch.io, the comment section for this, actually contains multiple people claiming that the same thing happened to them. All of them were answered by the developer claiming that he fixed that bug. He did not, because it happened to me, like, less than two hours ago. So, the only way we're gonna go to the rest of the story, for whatever the third game is in the frame narrative, is to just die. Because, if I hide will get stuck. Uh, there was one person in the comments who claims that if you if you select the game individually from the game list in the menu instead of playing it as part of the story, that won't happen. But I didn't try that, so I don't know if that's true. I wanted it to be, you know, a record a playthrough of the story narrative. So we're gonna walk into the office and get shanked and then move on. I'd, I'd rather not do that because I don't know if we're missing dialogue or anything. From the end of the story, I doubt it's anything deep and insightful, even if we did, but we're just going to proceed under the assumption that this poor woman has been murdered, and that's where the story ended. Nope, there's Thom. Thom has been splattered. That was totally...
Wow, the other... Hmm. I could have sworn it actually... Yeah, when I mean, you yeah, have, I think it's... Oh god. Maybe I was wrong. I thought it would let me proceed. Um, the spy being killed the other time. I don't remember it only offering me a retry or main menu option. If that happens again, I don't know what we're going to do. Should only take a second to get back to that point. Maybe it'll make a difference if we stay in here and, and see, that's what we're supposed to do. If I'll try it, if maybe it high up intermittently, but okay. But we're gonna get stuck again, but. Oh, that time it didn't happen. That time it let me out of the... Alright. So it's a game breaker if it happens, but it doesn't happen every single time. I only tried it the once, but... He's totally in the backseat, isn't he?
Yep. Well, uh, no sympathy. If you just got chased by a, a fucking a psycho and you didn't even check the back seat before you got in your car, you deserve to get your head cut off, honestly. Going well, Josh. You're being very important to us. What does that mean? I'm really enjoying these games. Last one was kind of short, but it was fun. Glad you're enjoying it. The next one will be the last and more bizarre, just the way you like it. Looking forward to playing soon, and I'm glad you're helping Goni Station not to die. Goni Station lives in us. Here's the game. I hope you like it. It's a secret of the lighthouse. Alright. I thought we were going to a lighthouse, not a nightclub. What the hell? Oh, Lisa. Alright, cat. What's your name? My name is Josh. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Elisa. You're very handsome. Are you single? <laughs> what? It's a pleasure to meet you. You are very beautiful. I am single, yes. Yeah. You're wearing a ring. It looks like you're married. Sorry about that. My wife passed away two years ago. I'm sorry, Josh. Maybe you need to have some fun. Well, these people are just cutting right to the point, aren't they? That is exactly what I need. You want to go somewhere quieter? <laughs> I feel like Elisa is recording his lines instead of her. Come on, cutie. I'm going to make you have a lot of fun tonight. Shouldn't have been him saying that to her. Alright, where are we going? Oh, we're leaving, I guess. I thought we were going to a lighthouse, but... What the hell? Where's that drink you promised me? Oh yeah, I'll get it from the kitchen. I'll be back in a minute. After I pour the roofies in it. I don't think you need a roofie her, man. She's pretty willing. I'll wait here. Don't take too long, baby. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making her sound like him. Courage, Josh. You need to do this. I have to remind myself of my obligations. What? What is this? He does have a family. You cheating bastard! Oh, well, we got a fucking machete here. Can't pick it up. Poison? Poison the bear. Thank you, dear. Well, go on, woman. I can drink it. That was some quick action poison there. She just fell right over. Alright.
What in the world does any of this have to do with a lighthouse? Alright, now what? really married to do this. What does that mean? I need to pack the body and take it to the lighthouse. Not, not really a body anymore, is it? I mean, I mean, you put her back together, I guess it would be, but... I'm almost out of gas. I need to fill up the car. Probably not stop anywhere while you got a chopped up hooker in the trunk, man. Don't want somebody getting nosy finding that back there. Steve. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? It's a great night for a road trip. Good night. Put ten dollars worth of gas, please. Sure, my friend. Sorry to ask, but where are you going so late? Oh, just to the lighthouse to feed the parts of this hooker I just chopped in the sausage into a, you know, to sacrifice to something. Uh, friend, I'm in a hurry. I need gas soon. I'm in, I'm in a hurry. She's leaking all over my seat. It's just that I get very lonely here, and sometimes I talk too much. Alright, I just need to go soon. Ready, my friend. How did you get the gas in the car? You didn't even get out of the chair. Careful out there. People disappear. Stay away from the lighthouse, and it's an abandoned and dangerous place. Yeah, that was shit. Thanks for the advice. Good night, and I'll see you later. I feel like we got an additional sacrifice here. Could just kill him too. Take him along. Extra meat for the sacrifice, you know. need to get the body out of the trunk and into the lighthouse. God forgive me. What are we doing here? Sophie? Sarah? Are you here? I brought food, my loves. What? <clears throat> Daughter, wife. You can come feed it yourselves. What the hell? What? Oh shit. Whoa. 
What the fuck is that? What in the hell? Okay, he's... His wife and daughter were monsters, and he's killing women to feed them. What the fuck kind of stories? I mean, I get it, but that was, like, short and way too abrupt. At least the end credit music was cool. Congratulations, Josh. Together we will create a better world. Happy to help, but after all this, what is this creature? This is the Goni Station. It creates bizarre games to amuse us and drive people crazy. Now it's your duty to feed him dirty souls. <laughs> what madness. I will do everything to keep the style of games from dying. One last question. Who are you? Who am I? I'm you, Josh. Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming at all. Well, so there was only three stories in that, st or three, you know, games in that story, as opposed to the first Midnight Tales, which had four, and it feels like that one was a little bit more rushed than the first one, like the first one had one more story, and it was a lot more thought out with like the whole cult subplot, and the end of it just being, you know, the whole thing turning out to be a movie that was being made and all, this one felt more rushed than that, like, wasn't as much thought put into it, but, I mean, still bizarre and, you know, short and creepy. So let's go ahead and run through the bonus game as well. Bloody Chainsaw. This is an escape style game. Kidnapped by an, <laughs> and a crazy ass ass. <laughs> oh, it, it looks like Okay, it is Assassin. I don't know why my brain just totally didn't see the eye in there for a second. And I didn't read it as Assassin. I, I read it as Ass-Ass. That's weird. Kid, uh, we're just gonna keep kidnapped by a crazy Ass-Ass with a chainsaw. You will have to survive and try and escape. Probably not gonna have a happy ending. None of the other ones did. I really need to go to the bathroom. I'll stop at the next gas station. Alright, love. I'll take the wheel so you can get some rest. Alright. All right. Alright, how do I get out of the car? What are we doing here? Where are you, Sarah? It's taking too long. I'll see if she's okay. She's not. I, I promise you. She's probably dead. Already. Let's 
is the gas station from the uh, lighthouse game. Totally. Probably killed by Steve. It's closed. Weird. Can't do anything with that. See? What did I say? Sarah, where are you? Oh. going Sarah yeah that's a chainsaw buddy you might want to run away all right no. it won't let me walk out into the I can't walk out into the forest. Can't walk out on the road. Oh shit! Actually made me jump. So was that Steve or was that somebody else? I need to get out of here and find Sarah. Sarah's dead, buddy. I promise you that. Oh, that guy's still alive. Somehow. Let me move this panel. I can't get through there. I'm supposed to drag that out of the way I guess but it's not letting me do it what are we doing here I don't know oh here we go okay what Maybe if I throw...
Okay, whatever. I just. I don't think that's what was supposed to happen, but. That works, I guess. Not upstairs, man. I don't feel like that's the way out. Oh, that's the room above. Okay. So we need to find something to... A lock pick or something to get that open. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Ah, oh, screwdriver. Yeah, use the damn sc Oh wait, no, that's probably for the, the ducks, not for the- Oh shit. Take the oh, there's four screws. Oops. It must be a very dull chainsaw. He's hit me with it like five times, and I'm not dead. <laughs> I like it. Uh. And what was the point of this? Oh, it's just a hiding room, I guess. Gotta be Steve. Why is he wearing a top hat? Ah, uh. <laughs> it was worth a try. But you couldn't escape the killer, and now it's just another piece of meat for his dinner. <laughs> uh, I guess there was a way out of that, but I'm bad at stealth and shit, so. R.I.P. Sarah. I guess she. I guess she got killed. That would be the assumption. And then we got ground up too, because I'm bad at sneaking. Oh boy. Oh, so overall, it was okay, but not nearly as good as the first Midnight Tales collection. There is a third one. Um, it it has a it has a definite theme. The third one does. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, 
run through that one next as well. And then there's like 17 more independent six one six games. Oh, excuse me, left. This looks like it got stuck on a black screen here, so. Uh, hope you enjoyed that for what it was worth, and we'll see you in Midnight Tales Volume 3.